Okay, so tonight we're going to talk about the Theta Edge node and uh, about its compute abilities. Theta Edge Compute, and um, so let's get started. So we've seen the Theta Edge node in terms of broadcasting um, and either streaming and watching streams. The other thing it does really well is it can do computations. Now, you, you, uh, once you load the node on your machine, you can get, uh, you can get T-Fuel by letting it run uh, compute jobs. So basically taking advantage of the uh, distributed com computational ability of the Theta Edge node. And one of them that the one that they have now is folding at home. Folding at home has been around for many, many years. I think I read 20 years and they look for various uh, solutions to disease uh, by taking advantage of computational resources that are not being used. Uh, I think they even had it on the on the game consoles at one time, but now they have it here, and you can uh, do the uh, edge compute, and they do folding at home, and you earn T fuel, and help find the next uh, more solution. I guess they're looking for COVID solutions uh, to prevent this last year's disaster from ever happening again. But, um, and it can do other things like video transcoding and, uh, and things of that nature. And I think they, sh don't know if they show, but it can do that as well. Now, the interesting thing is this article I found on the platform. And they talk about how it works. So you got three main things the task initiation initiator, who's the users, the nodes, and they're sitting around waiting to get tasks, and the smart contracts. Again, we talked about smart contracts in uh, Theta, which are essentially Solidity. So you can take advantage of Solidity knowledge to um, improve your, you know, to work on this as well. And they provided in here an example for on-chain uh, solution verification. So let's have a look. First of all, let me explain that there are two, let's start with, with on-chain. That means the uh, solution is verified on the blockchain and they take advantage of, um, uh, so here's your smart contract you, you register the task, you have an implementation, you have an implementation of verifying it, uh, and uh, you, we can look at the code snippet submit solution. So now they use this um, eGaml encryption pro, so they have a way of proto uh, protocol um, encrypt the encryption. And you have this, um, they call it a ZK snark proof, which I'm not that familiar with yet. Uh, you should prove that, to prove that the plain text solution is correct and the solution submitted is indeed the encrypted plain text solution using the public key of the task initiator. So this is a public private key type of thing. So here's the example. So here's your interface for verify uh, solution. Uh, again, this is a, then a typical solidity uh, code. You have your contract, your structure, the data that's stored on chain. You have your functions, which is basically register the task um, and submit the solution. So there's a little flow chart here uh, let's see. Again, they talk about the ZK snark proof, which in order to actually take this and, and get this implemented, we'd have to understand that. So the task initiator registers the task. 
submits a solution to the edge node. The edge node um, solves the task, goes back to the blockchain, and verifies the solution on the chain, and it gets a token reward. Then the task initiator can get the solution and decrypt it. That's the on-chain way of doing things. Off-chain, it's a little different because that's when you're dealing with things that are really much bigger. I guess they talk about a few meg or even larger. Um, after the you get the solution, the edge node only commits the hash and they call reward pool with off-chain verification commit solution instead of just uploading the solution to the chain. However, the edge node needs to send the complete solution to the initiator through a secure channel. So you imagine it would be encrypted. And um, this is what the code, so reward with off-chain verification. That's this other con second contract. Commit task, commit solution, and mock solution itself. So you have commit task. Only the task initiator can, can submit the task. Um, so the solver is the only one. They task hash, solution hash, and the solver. And then they uh, send the result. And then once it is solved, uh, the sender is the task initiator then marks it as solved and sends a reward to the edge node. Now the, it's probably easy to understand with this little flow chart that they provide. And this is not a long paper, it's only about eight, eight pages here. So they, they commit the task, they send it, the solver gets it. The solver um, uh, puts their puts the hash in, on the blockchain. The task initiator then gets the information they need to verify the solution, mark it as solved, and send it the token reward. So there are two different methods depending on how much data. Because again, you're trying to limit data going through the chain. And that's why they have to do it this way if it's a lot of data. So that's basically the outline of how, how the uh, Theta Edge workers, Theta Edge nodes solve problems. Now what I'd lo like to do is uh, do a little bit more work or research on how, what these, what verifying a solution is exactly and see if I can take this sample code and turn it into a uh, actual contract that I can put on a, a test network and actually demonstrate. But that's going to be a little bit more research required for that. Uh, understanding the ZK snark proof, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But um, this is basically how Folding at Home can now get their solutions via the Theta network, again, which is designed for speed and designed to take advantage of, of this, this computational power that's distributed all over the world. So hopefully this has been um, helpful to you. If so, please give a like. Please uh, subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, I will include the link to this little paper uh, in the in the notes, and this way you can have a look at it yourself. And uh, that that's it. Um, thank you again, and I will speak to you next time.